I am walking in the serene and green campus of one of the most beautiful monuments of Delhi, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It is older and taller than the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Yes, you have guessed it right. I am looking at the Qutub Minar. But I have come here not to appreciate the beauty of this Minar, but something I consider even more interesting. Let's go to the Imam Jameen's tomb. Come with me. I am coming to a beautiful Jali, an architectural masterpiece made of hexagons and hexagonal stars, six-pointed stars. These are repeated periodically to give this beautiful pattern. Let's look at the symmetry of the pattern. Now, if you look at the stars, the stars are all surrounded symmetrically by six hexagons. Each star is surrounded by six hexagons and this continues further and so you have a nice six-fold symmetry in the center of the star. So this pattern has a six-fold symmetry. Any periodic pattern which has six-fold symmetry will also have three-fold and two-fold symmetry. Let's look at where are three and two-fold symmetry in this pattern. So if you look at the hexagon, hexagons are supposed to be a six-fold symmetry object, but the way they are fitted in this pattern, they actually are the centers of the hexagon are the centers of three-fold symmetry because you can see that around the hexagon only three other hexagons are there and three stars are there. So stars and hexagons alternate around this hexagon making this hexagon a center of three-fold symmetry. Where is the two-fold symmetry? The two-fold symmetry is where the two hexagons meet. So the two hexagons meet in a vertex and wherever they are meeting in the vertex, you have a two-fold symmetry. So we have six, three, and two-fold symmetry. We also have mirror planes. So you can see a vertical mirror plane going right down where I'm putting my hand, bisecting the star. So there are actually six such mirror planes through the six-fold axis of the star. Similarly, there are three mirror planes through the hexagon and two perpendicular mirror planes through the two-fold axis. You can see there is a mirror plane, horizontal mirror plane, and then there is a vertical mirror plane. So this pattern has six-fold symmetry as well as has mirrors passing through the six-fold symmetry. This makes it a P6MM symmetry pattern. So this is number 16 in the plane group as, as listed in the International Tables of Crystallography. I am entering the Alai Darwada, the beautiful dome southern entrance of Kuwatul Islam Mosque. Now I come to this pattern on the wall. It must be looking familiar to you. This is the pattern which we just saw in the Jali uh, before. Only thing is that now here it is on the wall and so uh, there are no holes between the stars and the hexagons. They have been filled by beautiful flower patterns. These pattern flower patterns also are six-fold symmetry patterns. So the overall pattern has the same six-fold symmetry. Six P6 mm. This is one of the jalis of Imam Jamin's tomb. You can see the pattern here. Here they are constructed of a six-fold star, an equilateral triangle, and a distorted hexagon, an irregular hexagon. So the symmetry of this pattern is exactly the same what you saw in P6MM. But beautifully, in this case, the six-fold, the three-fold, and the two-fold have independent motifs for them. The six-fold is represented by the hexagonal star. The three-fold 
is an equilateral triangle and the twofold is this elongated hexagon. So the entire symmetry is again P6 mm has 6, 3, 2 and also the corresponding mirror plane, 6 mirror planes to the 6 fold axis, 3 mirror planes to the 3 fold axis and a 2 mirror planes horizontal and vertical through these 2 fold axes. Another jali of Ibam Jamin's tomb, this time both the motif and the symmetry are different. Two kinds of um, figures are used here. You can see the squares and you can see also these shapes which I will call a house shape, which is made of a square with, with, a, um, with a right angle triangle sitting on the square. So the right angle triangle makes the roof of the house and the square, the walls and the floor. Now, if in the pattern you can see that there are four squares meeting at these points. So these are the four-fold axis, four-fold centers of the pattern. You, in any pattern which has four-fold symmetry, the four-fold comes in two types, two varieties. So the one variety is where the four squares are meeting. Where is the other variety? Let's look for it and that's here. You can see where the four rooftops of the houses meet. So this is a one kind of four fold. This is another kind of four fold. And this is a plain group of four fold symmetry. A four fold symmetry pattern also has two fold symmetries. So where do we find the two fold symmetry here? So let's look for them and we find it here where between the common floor of two houses, there is an upright house and there is an inverted house and sharing this common floor, the midpoint of that is actually the two-fold center. So you have four-fold of two types and you have two-fold. This is a... And we also find that there are mirror planes. So there are mirror planes from with four fold you are finding four mirror planes passing through it. Symmetry demands that if a mirror plane passes through four fold there will be four mirror planes. So there is a horizontal mirror plane, there is a vertical mirror plane and two diagonal mirror planes passing here. Similarly there are four mirror planes passing through this and at the two fold points where you have here you have only the horizontal and the vertical mirror planes giving you the two-fold axis. So this plane, plane group has four-fold axis, two-fold axis and has mirror planes passing through the four-fold and two-fold. That's the characteristic of P4MM. So the plane group is P4MM. I'm inside Imam Jamin's tomb and just coming out to see one more jali and this is a beautiful jali right at the gate of Imam Jamin's tomb. This is now a pattern made purely of rhombuses. You have nice rhombuses, 61, 20 degree rhombus, six of them meeting at one point, giving a six fold symmetry. Now, as we have seen, a periodic pattern with six fold symmetry will also have three and two. So, where are three and two here? So, you will see that there are points where only three rhombuses meet at 120, with 120 degree angle. Those are the three-fold points and the two-fold points are the, the two-fold points are the centers of rhombuses themselves. The center of rhombuses are the two-fold symmetry points in this pattern. So this is again P6MM, another example of P6MM but with different motif the rhombus motif. Another pattern on Imam Jamin's tomb's wall, this time not a jali, but just a pattern on the wall. And you can see this pattern also has a square and house motif which we saw in the previous pattern. But at the same time, it has one more shape. I don't know what to call it. It's a decagonal shape, 10 sided shape again made up of squares and 
right angle triangles so here in this pattern again you can see the four fold symmetry which is now at the center of the square here so th this square has four houses around it and has four decagons around it it has a four fold symmetry at right in the center of the square and as i told you a four fold symmetry pattern will also have a two fold pattern somewhere and you can and it will also have a two different kinds of four fold so one kind of four fold is the center of the square let's look at where is the other kind of four fold in this pattern so if we look carefully you can see that there are actually that is also in the center of the square but the the two squares are uh, have different surroundings so this square has only the four houses around it whereas this square has four houses coming at the corners whereas the sides have the decagon so this is a different kind of four fold the two different kinds of four fold also we have to have the two fold symmetry the two fold symmetry in this case are right in the center of the decagon right in the center of the decagon you have the two fold symmetry there are mirror planes also and mirror planes are passing through the four fold characteristic of the plane group p4 ml i am coming out of alai darwaza now and let's look at some patterns on the wall here this time till now we were focusing on the two dimensional periodic patterns let's look at some one dimensional periodic patterns known as freeze pattern so on this wall we have beautiful freeze patterns several examples of them which now we will look at carefully just like there are 17 plane groups in 2d there are seven freeze groups for one dimensional periodicity and you see several examples of that here let me end this walk to the kutub complex it was an interesting walk looking at the two dimensional patterns and the freeze pattern let's say bye bye and we will meet again in another morning